Boss leave Belize City at 7.30 last night and about about 8, a little after 8, I got a call stating that one of the buses was in an accident. So when I called the driver, the driver told me that um, upon reaching uh, mile 13 and 14, he saw a light on the right hand side of the road. But basically, the vehicle would turn towards Belize City like it was going to Belize City. So he still continued driving, but you know, normally once you're driving and you see a, a light, a bright light, what you do, you would focus on the right hand side of the road. So he still continued driving, but when he came up a little closer, he realized that there was a 45 foot container hooked on to this, um, this, this trailer truck. Okay. And the, the trailer didn't have no reflector, no lights. Okay. So by the time he saw it, he was upon it already. And, uh, and as I said, I always let them know that the people always come first and the safety. Instead of banging into it and killing somebody, what he did, he took it off the road and ran it like off, which it, it really damaged the bus. But if he didn't do that, absolutely um, would have fatalities because um, this truck, well, I heard it was like four trucks out there and they were reversing into, into the toilet paper factory. So basically that's what really took place. And, um, but the vehicle, the bus really got, it got damaged really, really bad. Uh, about two days ago, I think they had a similar situation like that yeah. in the north. And I think the Department of Transport really, really need to crack down on these big trucks. They can travel, but then you don't really try to um, turn or reverse on a major highway, you know, at night. It's really, really, really risky. I mean, it could have caused a lot of lives last night, but thank God that the driver used his discretion and conductor said, when he looked, because not even the passengers saw it, they saw the bright light. But it was like a L. The truck was actually a jackknife. Okay. The front face, it was on the direct right-hand side of the road. Okay. But then the trailer, the 45 foot trailer was right across and it's not a white container, it's like a grayish. So basically when he looked, the trailer, is, the, con the container was right in front of him and there's nothing else he could have done but swerve away from it. And it was like just the fit of the bus because there was another container there. <laughs> And then this one here, so it was just a fit. So you had this big post that was there. It slammed into that and then went down into the ditch. But thank God that, as All I right. said... Um, Is there anything that you can do legally uh, in, in terms of getting back your money? You, you suffered losses, right? Well, I do suffer losses. And, you know, um, you know, with the insurance companies now, um, if they don't want to adhere to it, then I might have to do uh, take a uh, civil action because basically it's... They might want to use the technical technicality and say, well, the bus didn't hit the truck, but it's because because of the truck caused the bus to really got damaged and could have even caused lives.